I'm here with Lakshmi Pratori from Ink Conference in India. Can you tell me what the focus of Ink Conference is? Yes. Uh, Ink stands for innovation and knowledge. And the whole idea is that we want to bring the greatest thinkers and doers. But you're doing really, truly innovation, both from a rural entrepreneur all the way up to a futuristic uh, designer. We want to bring them under the same umbrella. With a special focus on a Asia, Latin America and the Middle East because the kind of innovation that's coming from this part of the world could be very different than the one that's coming from the West. So we want to highlight that and create a global stage for innovation that's coming uh, from that, that part of the world. Yeah. Well, when were you funded and how many participants do you have each year? Uh, we started as TED India and then uh, once TED India was done, uh, TED didn't want to do TED India every year, but they're working with us. So we formed Inc. Conference in association with TED so that we can continue on the momentum that was started by uh, TED India. So we have a group of about uh, 20 Inner Circle members uh, that have funded, that advise, that are very involved in what we do. So I, I started this as an activity in India. Uh, it's a completely independent conference. It's got nothing to do uh, with TED except the relationship and the spirit of TED. Is it also the same format that every speaker has approximately 20 minutes or do you also do panels, workshops or interaction with the audience? Um, the format is very much like TED, the maximum is 18 minutes but many short talks. We do have a little bit more interviews uh, because we, we wanted to in, uh, introduce people who can't speak English. Uh, so for that I need to interview them. So like last year we had one person who could speak only in Hindi, another person who could speak only in Telugu. But they're really smart rural entrepreneurs doing interesting things so we want to give them the main stage. So we have a little bit more of an interviewing uh, involved in, in conference. The last conference was in December in India. Are you rotating through Asia and is it always in December? Uh, this year it's going to be December 8th through 11th in Jaipur, India. The plan right now is to be in India. That doesn't mean that's where it will be forever. But because we live in India, we want to perfect the model first. So we want to be there just so we can work out all the kinks and have a great conference. But the goal is to get people from all over the world. Again, as I said, a lot from rest of Asia and Latin America and Middle East. Like here at DLD conference and as well as in Davos, there's approximately 20% uh, women participants. What is your ratio? Uh, we had almost about uh, 30 to 40% uh, women. Wow. We had quite a few women. Uh, and we, we want to increase that, both in our speakers as well as our attendees, uh, because there is a lot of very powerful women actually in the developing world, uh, uh, you know, and we want to feature um, all of them. So it's a very uh, important thing for us to have diversity of geography as well as gender and as well as age. So we have a lot of participants who are under 25. So we want to have very young uh, speakers also. And besides innovation and knowledge, do you uh, focus every year on a specific topic? Yes. Uh, I mean, the topic, like last year, the to first year our topic was future beckons. Second year the topic was untold stories. Uh, this year we have not announced the topic yet. But it is general enough. Uh, but at the same time it's specific to get into the issues that matter to that region.